All right guys, in today's video, we're gonna talk about a real quick way that you can lock down your Gemini account for extra security. Online security is something that everybody should take seriously and hopefully keep improving over time, but especially if you're into Bitcoin or crypto or just improving your financial situation in general, it's something that you should take seriously. There's been so many stories about people that, oh, my account got hacked, they got my password, they took all my Bitcoin, all those things happen all the time. But you can help protect your accounts just by doing some basic things. If you haven't started using a password manager, please use a password manager. It's such an easy way to have a different password for every single account you have. It can be long and complex and something you never have to remember. And there's a lot of great options out there. There's LastPass, KeePass. In my opinion, Bitwarden is one of the best. They have a free option that has enough features for just about everybody. And that should just be the basics of your online security, like step one. But today's video is about how you can add a hardware two-factor key to your Gemini account. So one of the things that I really like about Gemini is they were really one of the first ones to be able to allow you to use a hardware two-factor key on your account. Not only that, they have an option to where the two-factor key is the only way to authenticate. I know, I'm probably kind of weird, but I love that. So let me show you what I mean. So when I log into Gemini, anytime that I sign in, I get a notice that I need to add my two-factor key, which, is this. So in order to log in, I have to have my hardware key. So how to set this up? Real simple. Just go to your account, settings, security, scroll down to two-factor authentication. And what you'll see here is you can choose the different methods that you wanna use. And they have text message, so they basically will, will text you a code. Um, you know, if you have nothing else to use, I guess it's better than nothing. But anytime you use SMS text for two factor, it is risky because, you know, people can take your phone number and all that type of stuff. And they also have the Authy Authenticator app, which works pretty well. You actually will get a push notification when you try to log in and have to approve it. So that actually works pretty well. But in my opinion, hardware two factor is really the most secure option that you can use because you actually have to have the physical device there. And so what you can do is add your security keys. And if you add two or more security keys, then you have the option to disable every other two-factor method. So as you can see, I've already done this. So on my account, I only use hardware two-factor security keys. So text message and Authy and all that's not gonna work on my account. In my opinion, good online security includes using two-factor methods, especially for your important accounts, but for your critical accounts, especially the ones that have like Bitcoin or financial assets on them, being able to add a hardware two-factor key, in my opinion, is extremely important. It just really gives you that additional peace of mind of you're using kind of top security for your most important accounts. So I will say, if you're gonna get one of these, I highly recommend getting the YubiKey 5CI. And the reason that is, is this actually registers on the Gemini iOS app. Um, the old keys that I have actually didn't, even though I could plug them into my phone with an adapter, it didn't work but this one actually works with the Gemini iOS app. And the nice part is it has a lightning connector on one side and a USB-C connector on the other. So if you have a MacBook or any other device that has USB-C, it's easy to kind of plug in and then obviously plugs right into the lightning port on your iPhone. So I will say this little device is a little bit pricey. I think this YubiKey was about like $80 when I bought it. So that's quite a bit. And I know a lot of people will be like, dude, I'm not spending $80 for a little piece of plastic. But again, if you're securing your most important accounts with hardware two-factor, then it probably makes it worth it. You can also use your Ledger Trezor if you have one, so that makes it nice. I will say though, I had an issue getting that to work with my iPhone. So if you need to be able to access Gemini on your phone, I don't know that those work, or at least I couldn't get them to work. But the nice part about this YubiKey is that it plugs right into the Lightning port and it's made specifically to work with iOS. So the Gemini app two-factor actually works perfectly with it. That's all I have for you guys today. If you have any questions about what I did or why or why it's important, put them down in the comments below. If you wanna watch more videos about Bitcoin, financial independence, click on these videos on the end screen. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.